And now to the latest in the pandemic. Today, LA County reporting more than 1,100 COVID-19 cases. This is the fifth consecutive day the number has topped 1,000. Now you can see three of the last five days, new cases have actually jumped to more than 1,100 per day, with Sunday having the highest case count of 1,113. Today, there were 1,103 new cases. Exactly one month ago today, there were fewer than 200 new cases. And as COVID-19 cases continue to climb, a West Hollywood man who was vaccinated caught the disease but showed no symptoms. And local doctors say this shows the vaccine is in fact doing its job. KCalmine's Candace Crone is live in Santa Monica now to explain. Candace. Well, health officials say that the number of COVID cases and vaccinated people is incredibly low. Even though there have been breakthrough cases, they say that the vaccine is working as expected. And I only stopped wearing a mask indoors in the gym when the when they told us it was safe to. Martijn Hostetler is frustrated after testing positive for COVID-19 despite following all safety precautions. He and his trainer recently got the virus despite both being fully vaccinated. There are people working out mask free in gyms and you have to trust people about their vaccination status and I guess you can't trust people. He's had no symptoms and believes had he not been vaccinated, he may have fallen very ill. Health experts say this is a prime example of the vaccine's effectiveness. LA County health officials say they've not had a patient admitted to a county hospital who has been fully vaccinated with either J&J, &J, Moderna or Pfizer. Every single patient that we've admitted for COVID has been not yet fully vaccinated. And that's hard for the healthcare workers to see. Um, they've spent hours, effort, energy uh, trying to care for patients. Although not 100% effective, doctors say the vaccine still has a dramatic effect on reducing the severity of the virus, even in rare breakthrough cases. And with cases rising due to the Delta variant, experts say it's vital in continuing the progress we've made. Delta is very dangerous uh, and it can reach down into people who are in their 30s, uh, even sometimes their 20s with severe disease. Uh, so this is an important point that when you're dealing with this type of variant, uh, that has the ability to evade your immune system. Dr. Michael Hurt, who specializes in internal medicine, says ultimately some protection is better than none. Hostetler says even though he had a breakthrough case, that shouldn't discourage people from getting the shot. I feel relieved that I got it, and I feel relieved that probably um, I'm going to be okay. And doctors especially encourage the elderly, uh, those with health conditions, and other vulnerable people to get vaccinated, especially as cases rise. Live in Santa Monica, Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News. All right, Candace, thank you very much. And be sure to stay with KCAL 9 News for continuing coverage of the coronavirus pandemic and our road to recovery.